to the next episode in this series of short video tutorials on how to digitize with Singer's Professional Sewwear Deluxe Embroidery Software, known as PSW Deluxe. My name is Tanya Owens, and I will be your guide through this series. Auto Punch is a fully automated digitizing tool that helps you create embroidery from artwork with little effort. From the Create menu, click on Auto Punch. A wizard will open to walk you through the design creation process. Click Next to start the process. Select the image you would like to create for embroidery by clicking the Select button. A window will open to allow you to locate and open the image that you want to create. Once you locate the image, click on the file and click OK. Then click Next. The next step of the wizard allows you to crop the image. This is useful if there is extra wording or elements in the image that you do not want to embroider. Resize the square to include or leave off certain sections. When you have finished, click Next. Input the size you want the embroidered design to be and click Next. Here you will reduce the number of colors in the design. If you want the program to handle this automatically, simply click Next. To reduce the colors yourself, first check the Reduce Colors To button and type in the number of colors to reduce the design to. Or you can have the program suggest the number of colors. You can also preview the image as it will be reduced by checking the Preview Color Reduction checkbox. When you're satisfied with the color reduction, click Next. The Classify Block section determines how each block in the image is handled. It determines if the block will be a satin column or a fill area based on the width of the block. Embroidery Studio will make the block a satin column if the area is below the selected value and a normal fill if it is above the selected value. To change, Move the slide bar to increase or decrease the value. The default value of 0.35 inches is acceptable for most designs. Click Next to move to the next section. Customize Stitch Blocks shows the blocks as they will be digitized. By clicking on the blocks, you can remove unwanted blocks or reorder the sequence the sections will sew in. You can also select whether or not you want it to sew the background. When you click on a block, the preview window shows where that particular block fits into the overall design. To continue, press the Next button. In the Embroidery Settings step, you can adjust the settings for the type of fabric the design will be sewn on. You can click on any block and change the stitch type, density, and underlay to work for the fabric selected. You can even set the stretch percentage to compensate for the stretch of the fabric the design will be sewn on. If you are unsure what settings to use, there are preset values you can use. To access these, click on the drop down menu and select Preset Fabrics. A separate window will open that will allow you to select the type of item you are working with and then the specific fabric of the item. Then click OK. Embroidery Studio will automatically put the preset values in for you. When you have finished with the embroidery settings, click Next. In the connection step, you can determine whether the design will stitch a running stitch or a jump stitch between blocks. After you have made a selection, click the Finish button. PSW Deluxe will now create the embroidery design based on specifications you selected. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. There are additional videos in this series, so please check my channel to view those videos. I have also written an in-depth guide called Digitizing with PSW Deluxe Embroidery Software that contains greater detail than is in these videos. You can purchase this guide from my website at www.tanyaowens.com slash PSW Deluxe. That information is also in the description below. Until next time, happy digitizing. Thank you.